Do the people of Maine trust their government? Do they feel they can engage in meaningful ways in our democracy? Those are just a few examples of the questions found in Maine's very first civic health report. What we're really trying to do with this report is start a conversation about the state's strengths and about the state's weaknesses. Through U.S. Census data and an original survey of over 1,000 Maine residents, researchers at Colby College's Goldfarb Center for Public Affairs look to gauge the state's civic health in eight different areas. It's good to, to explore the ways in which the, the changing nature of the state might create some pressure points in the future when it comes to civic engagement and civic life. According to the lead methodologist on the report, public engagement is strong with Maine leading the nation in public meeting attendance and high voter turnout rates. But they also found Mainers have very low trust in the national government and are pessimistic about the future of the nation across a variety of demographic groups. When it comes to local government, when it comes to state government, Mainers Mainers are much more willing to express confidence in those institutions that are closer to home. Community partners that help support the study are hoping that by understanding how Mainers feel about these topics, it can help to address some of the critical issues our communities are facing. We really just wanted to um, help understand what's going on and therefore, you know, what we might be able to do to address some of the, the challenges. To learn more about the report and its findings, visit our website, foxbangor.com. In Waterville, I'm Grace Blanchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.